Today's the day, the day the world has been waiting for. We're all gonna find out if this whole system works, this whole gamble on the Sandy Grind Pro, if it works. Got an off the shelf toilet from Home Depot. That's the whole purpose of this raised floor is to use a real toilet. The other option is to use the Sandy Grind toilet where there isn't water in the bowl. You plop it down, it comes out, hits and slides, and then you flush, but you're still left with streak marks. This whole thing is so there's no streak marks. There's several unique circumstances for installing this toilet, and I'm gonna show you in detail what those are. So this here is the toilet flange and elbow. This is provided by Sandy Grind, and what it is is a pretty sharp elbow attached to this flange. It comes at a slight angle this way. The problem with that is these little slots here. They're not parallel to the wall. They're, they're canted like this. Here's my solution. This is a repair ring, a stainless steel toilet flange repair ring. It's the only one I could find in stock. I prefer to use the cast brass one. I like that one better. This is the wax ring that comes with your toilet. And what you're gonna do is throw this right in the trash. It doesn't have the rubber cone that the more expensive kind have. So yeah, it does come with decent bolts, but you're gonna upgrade this. This is the wax ring that I'll be using. It also comes with bolts, but you can see Got a nice rubber cone. Gets everything down where it needs to go. Gotta let this warm up a little bit. It's been sitting out in my tool trailer all night. That's how that's gonna go. What I like to do is put a flashlight right next to it. When I'm lowering this down over these, these bolts here, I can easily see what's going on underneath there. I got the cardboard that came in the box right here. Just tip this forward. Let's see if I can get this on camera for you. This here is pretty sticky. So you're just gonna put this on, give it a little twist. So it looks like that's where the poo comes out. Today's video is brought to you by Slick Deals. Slick Deals is a browser extension that works on all your devices to assist you in finding the best deal when you're shopping online. In the last video, I showed you two deals from Lowe's Home Improvement. Today, we're gonna take a look at Ace Hardware. Here we are on the Ace Hardware website. Up here in the upper right, you can see the little, the little dollar sign S and D for Slick Deals. We're gonna find top deals at Ace Hardware. Scroll down here, and we've got a DeWalt blower and trimmer kit plus the battery and the charger for $199. Let's click that and get the details of the deal. This little window is Slick Deals and it shows you the details. This here just goes over the deal. This one is pretty basic. It's right there. Used to be $259, now it's $199. Now go down, click the link in the description so you can start using Slick Deals for your next shopping spree. Now you'll feel that wax ring squish, squish down. And that's, that's basically it. So here's the cap that covers the nut and the washer and the bolt. Goes on just like this. And this cap goes right down over the top of it. Be 
Because the guy who installed this tile did it so perfect, there's no discrepancies in the tile at all. There's no lippage and this baby is rock solid. That's not always the case. Sometimes you might have to put a little shim in the back, in the front to keep it from rocking because there may be a high point say at this grout joint or maybe a grout joint in the middle and it tips side to side. So just know that you have options to make your toilet not teeter-totter with some shims. So now you got to put your caps on. Uh-oh, the bolts, the bolts too long. Well, it's okay. These are pre-made with a little indentation there to break off this top portion of the bolt. So I'm take my linemans, get right in that groove that's already on the bolt and well, squeeze. See, comes right off. Now your cap will easily fit right on there. There. So this is the gasket that goes in between the tank and the bowl. These nuts just go through and they're sleeved with rubber. And when you snug down on the nut in the washer, it expands that rubber and makes a watertight seal. Just get the nuts started on each side. Going back and forth, you're gonna sink this all the way down and compress those rubber gaskets. We're just minutes away from our first flush. I know a lot of people can't wait, but I found an issue. The tank and everything in it comes pre-assembled. And as you can see, we got a pretty good kink right there that is gonna mess with things. And I've messed with it a little bit trying to get it to not kink. So what I'll probably have to do is pop this off the barb, cut it, and reroute it down so that we don't have this kink. Get your fingers handy. Uh-oh. Okay, we're on. Nice bend, no kink. Can you guys see that? No kink. Yeah, here we go, the first fill. adjust the float down which is this way back it out first flush looks like it worked really good flow here at the toilet These new eco toilets. I think this is only 1.28 gallons per flush, which is not much. I'm gonna give it the old hold down the flush for you know when you got a real big one in there. Seems to be working pretty good. These are the nuts. Just push these down on there and that cone compresses when it tries to suck it up into the hole. Okay, some of you have spoken in the past about the noise that this thing makes. And I agree, it does make noise. It's supposed to make noise. But I will be making a custom vanity that covers this entire thing I'm gonna actually put some soundproofing around the pump. 
So I think with the soundproofing and a cabinet around this, the, the noise will be cut maybe in half. So I will, I'll update you, see if this thing actually works. There are contingencies on what to do if this thing doesn't pump the poop. We know that it, it, it flushes fine when there's nothing in there. We know that it runs a shower just fine and it'll handle a sink no problem at all. But will it handle a big Time will tell and I will update you. Hope you liked the video. Got more projects. Obviously you got this custom vanity to build. I'm um, got to build a countertop. It's actually going to go across the the back of the uh, toilet here, so that you have extra things to 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 set your items on. But the tile baseboard on this wall and this wall and this wall can't go in till the vanity's in, and we get the stained door, stained grade oak door. This is just a temporary door for right now. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.